What happened? No, she's already standing on the left corner. Volunteers, please hand over the mic. Uh, a very good afternoon, sir. Yeah. I'm Jason from the economics department. My question to you is, as citizens of India, we have a very different perspective of what the government, uh, probably misconceptions, if so to say, of government being corrupt and all of that. But you've been an outsider and an insider. And what is your perspective now? Or how have your misconceptions and perceptions changed? Well, you know, obviously, there are, in our public system, a lot of deviations that are happening. And uh, I think we have every right to be angry about those deviations. I believe that the solutions for that have to be systemic solutions. Uh, we have to address them, obviously, by creating a better moral climate, by using better systems, by using technology, by, may, by reducing discretion, by eliminating rules where no rules are required, by making it more convenient for people. So I think there's a lot of that happening. I'll give an example, which you will appreciate as a, as a middle class person. You know, before economic reforms, you didn't have any choice in what you could buy. I mean, you, you people may not remember, but we remember. So you could only buy one, one brand of scooter. You could only fly on one airline. You could only buy one brand of car. There was a waiting list. There was corruption. But after liberalization, when everything was plentiful, you could get a telephone from any company, and things changed. Similarly, there are a lot of systematic reforms we have to do in our public arena to make sure that getting public services is convenient and hassle-free, to making sure that we have auctions of our natural resources so that there is no corruption there, to make sure that our purchasing in government is streamlined with procurement systems, to make sure that government expenditure is tracked by citizens. So there are a lot of systemic reforms that we have to do. And I'm absolutely convinced that we can do that. And many of the things that we have worked on are actually about systemic reforms so that we can solve problems of corruption at scale. And I'm very happy that the Aadhaar platform and the associated other systems we have built is part of that. 